What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's lesson, we'll be working on a fur and feather technique by drawing a great horned owl. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry and balance of our drawing. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So let's start from the very top and just lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Let's go to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. Now from here, we're gonna start building out the basic shape of the head. From that center line, let's step down and draw a straight line going across the base of the neck. Now we're gonna go out towards the left side, draw a straight line going up. Take that same distance from the center over towards the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna take the same distance from the center towards that bottom line up towards the top and draw another line to create a rectangle. Now from the top corners of a rectangle, let's step in. It's gonna curve the brow, coming down and then in toward that center, go out and up towards the right. Now over on the left side, we're gonna draw a circle going up and then down, just going underneath the brow. Let's start going up and then come down toward the bottom. Now you're gonna take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing, going around, just tucking that in underneath the brow. Let's add a smaller circle in the center of each circle for the pupil. And then from the top, it's gonna to curve the head going out towards the outside of a rectangle and then back in. Then that out and then in. From the center, let's bend this up and then down on the outside. Now in the center of a rectangle, let's draw the edge of the beak. We're gonna step up, bend this out towards the left, and then in towards the bottom, and do the same thing on the right. Let's go back up to the top of a rectangle, and we're gonna bend the head going out and then down towards that neckline. And I'll round out the top of the head, going up in the middle, and then down. Now we just want to close off the side of the body, starting from the base of the neck, going out and then down towards the side. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw in the horns. Let's start from the top of the brow, bend this up and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Bend this down and then in towards the side of the head. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. I'm just going to raise the top of the eyes, going in behind the brow. Now that we have our clean drawing, it's easy to see the areas that we need to improve. Now I'm going to start with the beak. I just want to add some more detail, just using the sketch as a guide. It's going out towards the side. I'm just going to lightly sketch in some more details. Adding a fold along the top, coming around towards the side, and then down towards the tip of the beak. Now from here, I'm just going to work our way across the top of the brow. I'm going to add these little fur points, just softening up the edge, going around the eye, and then out towards the top. I'm just going to pull the eyelids on top of the eyes, just pulling that in. Just lightly trace the outside of the eye, coming back in. Now we can always reposition the eye if we need to. If they're too far apart or too close together back and just trace out the pupil. Going all the way around. Again, just making this bigger if we need to. I'm just going to add some fur lines going across just underneath the eye, starting from the brow, and just working our way across, just lightly adding some textures. Just working our way down the side of the beak, and then down towards the neck. Let's add a small highlight little square on the top left side of each pupil. And I'm just gonna go in and just lightly shade that in. And then from here, it's gonna wrap that fur around the side of the head. So using these short little lines going around, now just angling it down towards the side, towards the base of the neck, and then fading that in towards the bottom. Now I'm just gonna follow this curve along the base of the head and just adding some fur points going up and then out. Just a slight bend. 
and go back and just add a few more texture lines along the base. It's going up and then out. Let's add some fur along the top of the ears. And I'm just rounding out the ears. And then just adding a little bit more shape to the bottom. Just gonna add a little bit of fur to the base of the ears. And just work our way around the side of the head. Go back and clean up our drawing one final time before we add some more detail and shading. Now we're going to go back and just darken up our contrast and add some more details as we go. So I'm going to start in the center. It's just going to refine that fur texture going across the top of the eye. And then working our way across the outside of the beak. Just going to add that fold in the center come down towards the bottom. Add some few longer hairs along the top. And I'm not going to worry too much about the shading right now. I just want to go in and just refine the contours first. Just define the edge of the fur around the eyes. Just separating the different tones across the cheeks. Then add a little bit more texture along the inside. Now we're going to go back and just darken up the top of the pupils going around that highlight. Now as we come down towards the bottom, I just want to lightly fade that out to create a little bit of a glare. And then from here, we're just going to work the fur across the side of the head. So just blending that out towards the side and then towards the inside. So you can see that we're just working with the curve of the head, going up and in, and then out and then down toward the base of the neck. I'm just fading that out towards the bottom. And we'll just repeat that over on the right side. Now that we've traced out all the contours, I'm going to go and start adding some various tones and shadows. Let's start by adding some darkness across the base of the ear. So we start from the outside. Just going to darken this up with an even shade, and then bring that in towards the side of the head. And you can see that I'm using the side edge of my pencil to get a little bit more coverage. And for this, I'm using a two millimeter lead. I can go back and just darken up the bottom and then fade that up. 
I'm going to leave a little bit of a highlight along the bottom edge. Just going to darken up the fur across the base of the ear. And also darken up the fur in between along the side. Increasing the volume of the darkness across the side of the head. So adding a bit of a shadow coming down from the brow around the eyes. Now along the top of the head, we're just going to use these short lines to add some shading and texture. So we start on the left side. It's going to leave a little gap along the outside of the brow and just working our way across. I'm just going to shade the inside of the face on the side. See that I continue to work with the flow of the fur. Now I'm not going up and down, I'm just working this out and then down towards the side. Let me just blend that out towards the side. Let me just darken up the fur across the base of the head. We'll just finish off the bottom with some patches. Now with the nose, we're just going to shade in the outside edge and then fade that in towards the middle to create a highlight. Also going to darken up the tip and then blend that up. And then darken up the edge of the fur across the neck. And then just darken up the fur along the top. Blending that in. I'm going a little bit darker along the side, creating a little bit of a highlight in the center of the body. Now along the top of the head, in that shaded area, I'm just going to add a little bit more texture. These short little lines going all the way across. Now we're just going back and adding some more fine detail.
Now, as we get near the end, we're just gonna tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail, and always be sure to sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a great horned owl. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. You can also check out our other channels. I'll leave the links for you in the description below. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.